Hi, my name is Abby Haggard and today I'm going to be doing a book talk on The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. So you ever look at something and think that you've got it literally all figured out only to come to realize that you had none of it figured out? Because same. And that's exactly how I felt when I read this book, The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. This novel is stunningly written. It's got a beautiful, intricately woven plotline where everything comes together in the end. But at the same time, you're left always wanting more and wondering the whole time because it's a mystery. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite plotlines that I've ever read. And I've read a decent amount of books. It seriously had me hooked from beginning to end. It was hard, very, very hard to put down. And the plot twist, ooh. The Girl in the Blue Coat is a historical fiction novel. Um, it also is a mystery and it takes place during the Nazi rule reign in Amsterdam um, during World War II. It's written from the point of view of Hanukkah. I think that's how you say her name. I looked it up and I'm pretty sure, but forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm your Dutch, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, it's written from the point of view of Hanukkah and Upon looking at her, you probably really wouldn't think twice about her because she's pretty standard looking. She's got blonde hair, blue eyes. She just rides a bike around town. She works to support her mom and her dad. She's young, she's nice. She knows a lot of people, but not for the reasons you might think. She actually works on the black market in Amsterdam during World War II, which means she would go and secretly buy things that were really hard to get, like cigarettes, chocolate, any tea, things that were really hard for people to come by, and then she would go and sell them to her customers around town. Hanukkah is brave, she's smart, she's intelligent, she's very quick on her feet, she knows how to flirt with these German soldiers. She's got it all going on. She's really, really smart and she's really likable. As the novel goes on, you get to know her better and better, and it's, it's so good. But she's also very, very broken. Um, and she's dealing with tremendous grief in the novel. She's dealing with the loss of the love of her life and also a best friendship. But we quickly learn that Hanukkah is dealing with the loss of Foss, um, who was killed in combat with the Nazis when he enlisted in the war. And she's dealing with a ton of grief and it's just absolutely heart-wrenching to read. Throughout the novel, she's constantly reminded of these moments and takes her back to these moments with him and just breaks her. And the grief and stuff isn't even the biggest part of the story. One day, Hanukkah's doing her usual rounds around town when she comes to one of her customers, Mrs. Jameson. She's an older woman that lives by herself and she has a very odd request this time for what she would like Hanukkah to find. It's not tea, it's not coffee. Mrs. Jameson asks Hanukkah to find a girl, a Jewish girl that she had been secretly hiding in, under her stairs. One moment, this girl, her name is Miriam Goldsvelt, was there and the next day Miriam was gone. And Mrs. Jansen wants more than anything for Hanukkah to find this girl. Hanukkah doesn't know where she went. She doesn't have any pictures of her to use. She just has one detail. She's got a blue coat, hence the name of the novel. Initially, Hanukkah wants out. She doesn't want anything to do with this, but she's eventually drawn in through the mystery and we follow her and we see everything that she sees and we watch her piece this all together and it's again intricately woven it's beautiful it's the rest of the pages illustrate her journey trying to find her while dealing with major guilt dealing with her family with her friends hiding her major secret from everyone meeting people to help her along the way all while avoiding the german soldiers so who would like this novel well, I would have recommended it to anyone who's into historical fiction. Obviously, it takes place in Amsterdam, World War II, and it's not written from the perspective of a Jewish girl, but you learn a lot about her culture there. She uses a lot of Dutch words. We meet a lot of Jewish people. We see what they're going through, how the Germans treated them. I would also recommend this to anyone who likes mystery and suspense. But it's also a big mystery novel and literally suspense at every page 
the chapters are pretty short and Hesse does a good job at leaving at a decent cliffhanger at every chapter. Honestly, I read this book for a class and I thought it was just going to be more homework, but I found myself not being able to put it down, looking forward to reading this, wanting to avoid my other homework and get all my other homework done so I could just spend time reading this book. I seriously couldn't put it down. It did not feel like homework in the slightest. Also, if you like big unexpected plot twists, you will love this book. I had a friend who told me that she read this book before I had read it and she told me that there was a plot twist in there. So the whole time I'm reading this book like, what's the plot twist? I'm trying to figure it out. I thought I had it figured out. Again, I didn't. I could not see what happened coming. It was, it was insane. I would definitely, if I had to read this book out of 10, I would give it a 9, 9.5 out of 10. It was superb. I love this book. I couldn't put it down and I guarantee you if and when because you need to. If and when you pick it up, you will not be able to put it down either.